Hello everyone. Um, my question that I chose was who am I and what motivates me? And I chose this question because I frequently find myself wondering, you know, why I chose to go into education and why do I want to be a teacher and, you know, what motivates me to keep going every single day even when you don't feel um, important and when you don't feel that you're making a difference in students' lives. And so I find myself second guessing all the time. Um, is this what I'm supposed to do? And so I decided to dive a little deeper into those questions. And the question that I'll be focusing on is why do I want to teach? And this is really a self reflecting question um, where you can ask yourself um, frequently every day, you know, why am I here? Um, why do I want to be here? Why do I want to teach? Um, on my mission, or, you know, missionaries constantly have to remind themselves and ask, like, why am I here? You know, why did I choose to serve? And I think it's the same concept as a teacher um, reflecting why you chose to teach and why you are there. Um, and there's lots of different factors that go into why people decide to become a teacher and what motivates them to keep going each and every day. Um, one of those things is... Um, impacting students' lives, really wanting to make a difference into children's lives and into their education, um, motivating a teacher to want to be the difference and to be that person that influences them and changes them. I've had lots of teachers uh, while I was in elementary school, middle school, and high school that were invested in me and that truly cared about me and impacted my lives a lot. And I know that's why I want to pay it forward and also being invested in the students, you know, in your classroom and also off the classroom. I think a lot of teachers forget that students have lives outside the classroom and after school, and we need to be invested in that. Um, caring about students even after they leave your classroom, um, whether that's elementary school and not seeing them anymore or high school and they graduate, I mean, you know, we still need to care about them and check in on them and still being invested in them. And developing personal relationships and going into the classroom with that mindset um, and being a teacher with that mindset that you want to go and to develop personal relationships where you are invested in them, where you care about them genuinely and you want to see them succeed. Ultimately, that's what um, teachers aim for is to see their students succeed in whatever it may be and whatever age it may be. And I know that's something that I want for myself and that I want my students is to see them succeed in life and to prepare them for the life um, after school and I know this is something that I need to work on in my confidence in myself and the confidence in being a teacher and a lot of teachers always struggle with that and so I know that there's always such good reasons that come from wanting to be a teacher and teaching and so we need to constantly remind ourselves why um, that's something that I've come to reflect and wanted to um, study further this week.